What's going on guys? Bench Reviews back with another review for you. Today we are looking at a third Viperade product. If you've kind of been following what has turned into almost a mini series, I've brought to you two other reviews on Viperade products. I first showed you the Viperade VE8 pocket slip. Fits in your pocket, very easy to carry, but of course very limited in size and what it can actually hold. Then I brought you the Viperade VE18S, small. And now, today, we're taking a look at just the VE18. So this is the big brother to the S. Um, I really like the VE18S if I am have a very limited amount of space to carry EDC products, or if I want the ability to fit this in a pocket or in cargo shorts, um, this doesn't fit in a pocket. Uh, it could, I guess, technically fit in cargo shorts, but it's super bulky, especially when it's fully loaded out. Uh, this is this is more of a, a bag uh, EDC pouch, in my opinion. Uh, but this is everything that I need it to be. I've tried a few other Viperade products. Uh, I returned a couple. They just didn't kind of meet what I needed. And I settled on this. And the fact that there are two zippers, three EDC uh, slots, and in the back here, this is technically for a, a notebook or a cell phone. Um, I don't typically carry a like filled notes. I know that's a very popular thing to carry in EDC. I personally don't don't need it, um, but that's what this back spot is for. Um, one thing I wanted to point out. Just comparing these two, obviously you can see the size difference there and how much larger this is. The fabric is also different. So on most of their products, they use a um, polyester. So this was 500D polyester, um, a very nice fabric, sturdy, but it is a little bit thicker and bulkier. Uh, for the VE18, I decided to go with their uh, X-Pack, which is really, really nice. So their X-Pack is a um, high quality sail cloth and it's super lightweight, durable. And I've actually found that it's just easier to kind of get in your gear to slide it in and out as opposed to the um, polyester. So I, I'm glad that I went with this and it just made it a little bit lighter overall too. Um, so let's get into the technical specs of the, v, the VE18. Uh, you have a overall length here of six inches. The slot right here is two and a half inches. The smaller side over here is 1.6 inches. It is 0.55 millimeters thick when there's nothing in it. And the back EDC slot here is 2.4 inches. And they are uh, there's the Velcro if you are into Ranger patches or any sort of um, Velcro Velcro patches. They have YKK zippers, which are super smooth and easy to use. And um, on all other products, and I forgot to point this out on the other their pouches as well. They have paracord loops where if you wanted to, you could turn this into like a sling. Um, or, you know, I've seen people carry these around their neck, um, you know, at like blade shows and things, and they keep their knives in here. Um, so that is an option as well. Um, so those are the technical specs of it. So let's unpack this thing, and I'll show you what I carry in here. Again, I don't necessarily keep all of this in here. And the beauty of these pouches is it changes depending on, on what I need it to be. Uh, this stays in my bag, and it has pretty much everything that I need. Uh, occasionally, I'll carry some of this gear just in my pocket if I know I'm going to need it for that day, uh, but it's just a nice um, holder of all of the gear. Uh, so you can see a lot of Big Idea Design stuff in here. If you watch the channel frequently, you know uh, I really like their stuff. Um, a lot of this you've seen before but it'll give you a good idea of uh, how much it can, it can really hold. Um, because of the, the overall length of six inches, fitting in a full-size pen is no issue. Um, 
if I just bring in a Sharpie, which pretty much everyone has, uh, it slides in there no problem lengthwise. Um, I have the TI Utility knife in the front. I like my uh, i3T from Olight. That's a AAA flashlight. My bit bar inline max. The TI pry bar with magnetic fidgets. On the back, I have my Leatherman Free P2, which is really nice. Um, eventually, I will be doing a review on this. So if you want me to do a full review on the Free P2, let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments. Um, I appreciate comments, likes, and um, the, the subscribers keep climbing, guys. I really appreciate the support. Uh, but that's what I keep in the back. And then in this front zipper, I keep a micro bit driver. This is uh, designed by Hodo. Um, and all of the bits, micro bits are in there. It's really, really nice. And then in here, because it gets loaded out so much, uh, there's not a lot of space in this. Um, I just have the TI adjustable wrench. And there you have it. That's pretty much everything that I'm currently keeping in uh, this pouch. So it's a pretty decent shot. Uh, of course, you can load this up more. You can fit larger. Uh, the Free P2 is pretty slim. Uh, a Leatherman Wave or the Free P4 or the Surge or Charge would fit in here no problem. Uh, with 2.4 inches width, you got lots of space in this back slot. Um, so that is not a problem at all. Um, I don't really use the molly webbing, um, but I know a lot of people like to have that. Um, really nothing else I need to say about this. It just is a great overall, very durable pouch. I've had this for months and months now, and it's like showing nowhere. I just throw it in my bag um, and it protects the gear really well. And, um, oh, as far as pricing, uh, last time I checked on Amazon, it was $35.99. Uh, and then there was a like 10% off coupon. So always check. They normally run sales. Um, I know, I know also sometimes if you go to Viper Aid's website, they'll have some even better deals. So I would encourage you guys to check out their website as well. If you're interested in any of their pouches. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy with this overall and um, again it's it can be customized for for whatever you want I know a lot of people this is more than enough space in the back here for a notebook if you typically carry that um, and there you have it guys so this is the Viper Aid VE18 and um, it's probably my favorite pouch that I've ever owned I've had a few more and uh, I've had a couple of the Maxpedition pouches, uh, kind of the clamshells that open up. And I kind of stopped liking those as much because when you close it up, it tends to scratch your gear unless you keep a, a microfiber cloth or something in between there. I like the ability to just slide in the gear and then grab it if I need it. Um, so there you have it, guys. This is the Viper Aid VE18 X-Pack. Have a great day, everyone.